Is there something wrong with your Kenmore range? In today's repair guide, we'll be discussing error codes, troubleshooting, and basic repairs so you can get your appliance back on track. For more information, check out our website. Enjoy the video. If you're looking for help fixing your Kenmore range, look no further. Our comprehensive Kenmore range error code guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Code F001, F002, F004 or F005. Problem. Touch panel failure. Fix. Disconnect electrical power from the range and wait 30 seconds then restore power. If the error code returns, disconnect electrical power and replace the touch panel. Code F003. Problem. User interface control board failure. Fix. Disconnect electrical power from the range and replace the user interface board. The user interface control board may have more than one version. Use the latest revision of the user interface control board. Code F010. Problem. Runaway temperature oven temperature is over 600 degrees and increasing. Fix. Disconnect power from the range. Check the resistance of the oven temperature sensor probe using a multimeter. You should measure about 1.100 ohms resistance through the sensor probe at room temperature. If not, replace the sensor probe. Code. F011. Problem. A stuck key on the keypad. Fix. The control detects a key has been pressed for 30 seconds or more. Make sure nothing is pushing against the keypad. Press the stop key to clear the display. If the code won't clear, disconnect electrical power to the range and check the wire harness connections between the touch panel and the user interface control board. Code. F012. Problem. Touch panel and user interface control board mismatch. Fix. This code appears when you replace the touch panel or the user interface control board using the wrong part. Use your range model number to check the part number and install the correct replacement part. Code. F013. Problem. User interface control board failure. Fix. Disconnect electrical power. Wait 30 seconds. And restore power. If the error code returns. Replace the user interface control board. Code. F015. Problem. Touch panel failure. Fix. Disconnect electrical power. Wait 30 seconds. And restore power. If the error code returns. Replace the touch panel. Code. F017. Problem. The user interface board is unable to configure the touch panel. Fix. Disconnect electrical power. Wait 30 seconds. And restore power. If the error code returns. Disconnect electrical power and check the wire harness connections between the touch panel and the user interface control board. Reconnect any loose wires or replace the wire harness if damaged. If you just replace the user interface control board or the touch panel. You may have used the wrong part. Code. F018. Problem. Relay control board failure. Fix. Disconnect electrical power to the range and replace the relay control board. Code. F019. Problem. The user interface control board is unable to configure the relay control board. Fix. Disconnect power to the unit. Wait 30 seconds. And restore power. If the error returns. Disconnect electrical power and check the wire harness connections between the user interface control board and the relay control board. Reconnect any loose wires or replace the wire harness if damaged. If you just replace the user interface control board or the relay control board. You may have used the wrong part. Code. F022. Problem. Communication failure between the user interface board and the relay control board. Fix. Disconnect power to the unit. Wait 30 seconds. And restore power. If the error returns. Check the wire harness connections between the user interface board and the relay control board. Reconnect any loose wires or replace the wire harness if damaged. Code. F023. Problem. Communication failure between the user interface board and the touch panel fix. Disconnect power to the unit. Wait 30 seconds. And restore power. If the error returns. Check the wire harness connections between the user interface board and the touch panel. Reconnect any loose wires or replace the wire harness if damaged. If the wiring harness is okay. Replace the touch panel. If the problem continues, replace the user interface control board. Code. F025 or F027. Problem. Communication between the user interface board and the relay board can't be initiated. Fix. Disconnect power to the unit. Wait 30 seconds. 
and restore power. If the error returns, disconnect electrical power and check the wire harness connections between the user interface control board and the relay control board. Reconnect any loose wires or replace the wire harness if damaged. If you just replaced the user interface control board or the relay control board, you may have used the wrong part. Code. F028 or F029. Problem. Communication between the user interface board and the touch panel can't be initiated fix. Disconnect power to the unit. Wait 30 seconds. And restore power. If the error returns. Disconnect electrical power and check the wire harness connections between the user interface control board and the touch. Reconnect any loose wires or replace the wire harness if damaged. If you just replace the user interface control board or the touch panel. You may have used the wrong part. Code. F030 or F031. Problem. Oven temperature sensor probe failure. Fix. Disconnect power from the range. Check the resistance of the oven temperature sensor probe using a multimeter. You should measure about 1.100 ohms of resistance through the sensor probe at room temperature. If not, replace the sensor probe. Code. F033. Problem. Meat probe temperature sensor shorted or too hot. Fix. The control triggers this code if the meat probe detects a temperature above 392 degrees F. Make sure you fully insert the meat probe into the meat. The meat probe will detect oven cavity temperature higher than 392 degrees if you don't fully insert the meat probe tip into the meat. Also, make sure that you insert the meat probe jack into the receptacle. A partially inserted meat probe jack can short the contacts in the receptacle, causing this error code. Code. F050. Problem. The oven relay board can't detect the status of the door lock switches. Fix. Disconnect power from the range. Check the wire harness connections between the door lock switches and the relay control board. Reconnect any loose wires or replace the wire harness if damaged. Check to see if the door lock switches work properly using a multimeter. Replace the door lock assembly if the switches don't work. Replace the relay control board if the wires and switches are all okay. Code. F090. Problem. Door lock error. Fix. The relay control board doesn't detect the door lock motor operating. Disconnect power to the unit. Wait 30 seconds. Then restore power. Try again to lock the oven door by initiating the oven lockout or starting a clean cycle. If the door lock motor doesn't run. Disconnect power to the range and check the wire harness connections between the door lock assembly and the relay control board. Code. F095. Problem. The door lock motor doesn't stop running. Fix. If the door lock motor is constantly running. Replace the relay control board because the relay on the circuit board is stuck. If the motor ISNT running constantly when this code appears. Replace the door lock assembly. Code. F096. Problem. The oven door has been detected open during a self-clean cycle. Fix. Make sure the oven door closes fully and pushes the door switch plunger in. Adjust the oven door hinges or replace the door hinges if damaged. Disconnect electrical power to the range and test the door switch for continuity with the door switch plunger pressed in. Replace the door switch if you don't measure continuity during that test. If you're looking for help fixing your Kenmore range. Look no further. Our comprehensive Kenmore range troubleshooting guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Entire range won't operate. If none of your range's functions will operate, ensure that its power cord is firmly plugged into the outlet. There may be an issue with the power supply to the appliance. So examine your home's fuse box or circuit breaker. Replace any blown fuses or reset the circuit breaker if necessary. If there is adequate power to your range but it still won't turn on. Its service wiring may be incomplete. Contact Kenmore at the number listed in your owner's manual for assistance. If you are trying to use the oven portion of your range and it won't operate. Make sure that the time is set on the display clock. The oven won't turn on if the clock hasn't been set. Cooktop element doesn't heat. If the elements on your smooth cooktop won't heat or aren't heating evenly. Check that you've turned the correct control knob for the element you want to use. The elements may seem not to heat or may seem to heat unevenly if improper cookware is used. Avoid lightweight or warped pans that don't distribute heat evenly. Opt for flat, even, medium or heavyweight pots and pans. Which heat more evenly, so food isn't likely to burn. Abrasions on cooktop surface. If you notice marks on the smooth cooktop surface of your range. 
They may be abrasions or scratches from rough food particles that get trapped between the surface and your cookware. These marks don't affect cooking results and usually fade over time. But you can avoid them by wiping down the cooktop and your pots and pans before cooking. Abrasions may also appear on your cooktop surface if you don't use the proper cleaning products to clean it. Choose a cleanser designed specifically for ceramic glass cooktops and buff it with a non-abrasive sponge or cloth. If your cooktop has discoloration, it may be caused by food that has boiled over and been cooked onto the ceramic glass during cooking. A razor blade scraper can remove the debris. Mineral deposits from food and water can also discolor your cooktop surface. Use an appropriate cleaning product to remove them. Range isn't level. If your range doesn't appear level, examine the floor beneath it to ensure that it is level and stable enough to support the appliance. Contact a carpenter or contractor to strengthen the floor if you notice it is sloping or sagging. Your range may not be level if it was poorly installed. 2. Set a rack in the center of the oven and place a level on it. Adjust the leveling legs at the bottom of the range until the level indicates the problem has been corrected. Keep in mind that the alignment of your kitchen cabinets can make the range appear like it's not level. Cabinets should be square and allow clearance for the range. If you're looking for help fixing your Kenmore range, look no further. Our comprehensive Kenmore range repair guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and maybe show you how to repair your appliance. For the home, kitchen, and beyond, Kenmore manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair. However, if you're in need of Kenmore appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. My Kenmore oven is not heating. Igniter. The igniter is the most commonly defective part for an oven. Not heating. The igniter has two main functions. First, the igniter draws electrical current through the oven safety valve to open it. Second, the igniter gets hot enough to glow and ignite the gas in the oven burner. If the igniter gets weak, it will fail to open the safety valve correctly. If the valve does not open, the oven will not heat. To determine if the igniter is defective, observe the igniter when the oven is on. If the igniter glows for more than 90 seconds without igniting the gas flame, this indicates that the igniter is too weak to open the valve. If the igniter is weak, replace it. If the igniter does not glow at all, Use a multimeter to test the igniter for continuity. If the igniter does not have continuity, replace it. Kenmore oven doesn't bake evenly. Bake element. If the bake element is burned out, the oven will only be heated by the broil element. This will cause the oven to heat unevenly. When the bake element is heating properly, it glows red hot. If the element does not glow red, this indicates that the element is not heating. Often, if the element has burned out, it will be visibly damaged. Inspect the bake element for holes or blisters. To determine if the bake element has burned out, use a multimeter to test the element for continuity. If the bake element does not have continuity, replace it. Kenmore oven broiler not working. Broil element. The broiler element may have burned out. When the broil element is heating properly, it glows red hot. If the element does not glow red, this indicates that the element is not heating. Often, if the element has burned out, it will be visibly damaged. Inspect the broil element for holes or blisters. To determine if the broil element has burned out, use a multimeter to test the element for continuity. If the broil element does not have continuity, replace it. Kenmore stove heating element not working. Surface element board. The surface element board has relays that regulate the power supply to the burners. If one or more of the relays fails, the surface element won't work. If two or more burners fail at the same time, this indicates that the surface element board is likely at fault. If only one surface element won't work, use a multimeter to test the element for continuity. If the surface element has continuity, the surface element board might be defective. Kenmore stove burner want light. Spark module. The spark modules provide power to each surface burner spark electrode. If the burner produces a weak spark, or if the burner sparks intermittently, the spark module might be defective. Before replacing the spark module, first, check the spark electrode and the spark wire. If the spark electrode and spark wire are not at fault, the spark module is likely defective. If the spark module is defective, replace it. Kenmore oven temperature is not accurate. Bake element. When the bake element is heating properly, it glows red hot. If the element does not glow red, this indicates that the element is not heating. 
Often, if the heating element has burned out, it will be visibly damaged. Inspect the heating element for holes or blisters. To determine if the bake element has burned out, use a multimeter to test the element for continuity. If the bake element does not have continuity, replace it. Kenmore oven light is out. Light assembly. If the oven light is out, the entire light assembly may need to be replaced. Often the light assembly components are not sold separately. My Kenmore stove oven's not working. Bake element. When the bake element is heating properly, it glows red hot. If the element does not glow red, this indicates that the element is not heating. Often, if the heating element has burned out, it will be visibly damaged. Inspect the heating element for holes or blisters. To determine if the bake element has burned out, use a multimeter to test the element for continuity. If the bake element does not have continuity, replace it. Kenmore oven is not self-cleaning. Door lock motor and switch assembly. During the oven's self-cleaning cycle, the door lock switch activates the door lock motor to prevent the oven door from being opened. If the door lock motor and switch assembly is defective, the oven door will not unlock once the self-cleaning cycle is complete. On most ovens, you can open the oven door by removing certain screws or panels. Check your owner's manual for further instructions. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more repair guides.